Walla 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 everyone. So this episode of the Japanese Tattoo 101, we're gonna talk about the samurai crab. Um it's called the High Key Gigani Crab. Um I'm sorry if I pronounced the Japanese names wrong. So this is another common tattoo people get because like it looks cool. They think it's an anime figure, but no, this is an actual real crab. You can get it from the Sea of Japan or the South Sea of China. And you can see the Sea of Taiwan and the Sea of Korea. Um, and well, mostly they're in the Japanese coast. So they're native to Japan, actually. Um, but they can go further and further as far as Siberia. But they live in colder climate waters. But either way, this is an actual real crab. And many Japanese folklore um, believe that like many samurais died at sea. So therefore their face and their ghosts went inside on crabs and their faces reflect it's kind of like pirates of the caribbean um black pearl type of thing that when many sailors lost at sea their souls would never rest so their souls remain around around the sea and then they got into objects and then they turned into animate objects and then they um they want revenge until their souls rested peace so it's believed in many folklore especially a lot of japanese sailors at the time and a lot of east asian sailors at the time including the pirates that they believe that they are forbidden to eat this type of crab is because their ancestors um, who died at battle lost at sea their souls was rest was never rest and they got on to those crabs and whenever they try to eat them or they attempted to eat them like their ancestors faceless looking at them like how dare you eat me after everything i sacrificed type of thing so it's more like a guilt trip many japanese people won't admit that but it's kind of like a guilt trip so that's why they don't eat that crab but everything else they eat it but that crab is forbidden in japanese culture they don't they're not going to eat that so um like i said guys i'm not japanese i'm not i'm not asian or nothing like that it's just that like um i personally have this tattoo on the bottom of my leg so i have the high geek crab because i am a sailor so and sometime i may get lost at sea so i have this tattoo to remind me that this is a dangerous field i'm getting into and stuff like that but um the haigiki crab well what i call it haigiki crab but but like uh, i'm gonna say haigiki that, that's how i pronounce it now as you see the exhibit over here this is what the real crab really looks like it's ugly isn't it like um i see why many of the japanese people don't eat this because it looks ugly as hell so just like a shrimp if you see a full form a full form shrimp it's very ugly now therefore there's many ukiyo-e prints that has this type of haigiki crab uh with samurais and stuff like that you may see it with the samurai holding the anchor and haigiki crabs like coming all over him to collect his soul so um yeah so you can get this in many style but this is an aquatic animal it is a crab so make sure you get aquatic theme or nautical theme or um oceanic theme with this type of character over here as well um you can have it in many different forms you can play with it thank you guys for watching